Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. Today's video, this kickstart this year's Christmas Workshop 2019. So from now until probably three, four days before Christmas, I will just be sharing Christmas tutorials. So I know I've been sharing a few beforehand, that's because I'm on a lot more design teams now, so I've got a lot more going on and we are asked to share certain things at certain times and I've had the product early, so I need to be sharing it. So yeah, it's that side of things is different to the previous years because usually the Christmas workshop is the start of my Christmas projects so it has been a bit weird for me this year to actually start crafting a Christmas product this early i.e you know back in August I just never done it and I couldn't get my head around it but times are changing and in the craft industry we start our Christmas crafting very early especially if we're doing craft fairs and things like that so to kick start this one I have done these padded cards it's something I've wanted to do for a while it's been on my list but it keeps getting kind of bumped down and I thought I've got to do it and the inspiration for it comes from these cards here and these are from my granddad that he gave to my nan and uh, these are very old they're probably 50 plus years old and um, they sit in my craft room so I see them daily and that's why I've always had the idea to do it and I just keep forgetting this is a musical one it has a huge musical piece here that plays happy birthday it does still work but I'm not going to set that off now but you can see here it's got a bit of foam on the back there so that you can see this and it's got that very squashed rose because it's been in like one of those old suitcases for many years but my nan said that I could take some she has hundreds my granddad always gave my nan a padded card so she has a lot and I framed one and put it above her bed for her as well so it's really sweet now these ones obviously are on a lovely satin or you know some of them probably are on a real soft like silk um, if you've got a really posh one but they've all been printed as well I don't have the facility to really do that and I'm still looking for the right kind of fabric but I think I found a really good alternative you can see there the foiling but anybody that's never seen these before years ago this is all you got given I remember having these when I was a little girl I've got a couple myself in my um, kind of scrapbooks and stuff but it's just a very large piece of paper you can see that it just folds over folds in half again and then this piece is stuck on the front so with that being said because they were so easy I've been trying to find the right kind of fabrics to work and I think I found something really cool so all I've used to make this so if I just bring it up just so you can see the dimension these are really padded and these will fit perfectly in my six by six uh, box envelope and I'll link that up here because I know a lot of you go to that for any kind of 3d cards that you make I've got a 5 by 7 and a 6 by 6 this you can make any card size you want so if you work with different smaller cards or larger cards it's easy to do and once you see how then yeah you hopefully will be able to do it yourself so I had these Ponsettia flowers um, left over from another project so I'm going to use another one today but I found this here which is a tablecloth 79p from biology and it's huge like it is absolutely massive I'm not even going to open it all up it's so big but the good thing about this one is it's almost like it's got like a, a fabric on the back it's really hard to explain it doesn't give me any information at all on here literally nothing at all so you know I can't even really link this because biology aren't online but just go to any of like your pound shops your dollar stores Walmart any of the big supermarkets and just go and look at the cheap tablecloths and you want the ones that have that plastic kind of coating on the top but like I said it's almost like a fluffy kind of it's almost a bit fleecy it's hard to tell you can see I can pull it off there anyway that's the kind of one you want to go for I did get some others like this one here I need to fold it up this is just all plastic on both sides now this one kind of worked but when you wrap it around if I pull here look it just kind of can you see it stretches and this white kind of color comes through and I just didn't find you can see there look how it works I just didn't find that these ones work so you don't really want to get those plastic plastic ones but you do want to get these ones here that have this kind of like I said fabric on the inside it's a bit like a napkin you can see there it's also more of a dull color on the inside and on the outside you've got that real vibrant color so I'm just going to cut because I didn't open it right out I've been cutting from here I'm just going to cut enough to cover a six by six card because I'm going to do another six by six now like I said you can do any size you want let's just trim into this here there we go didn't do that very well but that's fine so now I have this very odd shape here really I would say cut a piece that's seven and a half by seven and a half we pretend that this is okay and then what I've used for the wadding is this <laughs> which is a cooker hood filter again from biology it's 99p and basically it's just wadding 
it, it's not been treated, it doesn't smell or nothing like that, it's just wadding sheets. But it's just cheap and I just thought you get quite a lot in it. So I've already gone ahead and cut a piece to six by six, okay? And then I have a piece of grey board here or chipboard which is from every crafts a pound and these ones are already cut to six by six. But you wanna cut a piece to six by six or whatever your card base size is. So if you're working on an eight by eight, then you'd have an eight by eight piece. If it's five by seven, cut it to five by seven. There is then my normal card base. So this is just a pre-made six by six red card. And this one is side folding. Now they do hold themselves as well. They don't topple over because it is very light. But if you are worried, just reinforce the insides. I tend to mat mine anyway. So I'd probably put another red mat and then another white mat inside. And that will just kind of give it a bit of weight. This one is a top folding. So you can see there, and that one stands up really well. I just really like them and they're so nice to touch. They really are soft, it's, it's just, yeah, I love them. Okay, so very, very straightforward. All you wanna do is sit the wadding over the top. Again, don't worry if it kind of goes over the edges a bit, it's all gonna kind of fold in on itself. Turn it upside down. And then on this piece here, I've just used normal double-sided tape. If you're worried that yours isn't very sticky, then you can use a red tape. But I'm just gonna run two lines of it along the top and the bottom okay and then I'm just going to peel this off do one at a time just so you don't get yourself in a, a mess and then this pattern here it doesn't matter which way up it is so if, you know it's got no direction to it just full of those snowflakes and it worked really well so I do want to find some more that are like this now, like I said, yours needs to be seven and a half by seven and a half. I'm gonna make this work, cut it a little bit shorter, but it's fine, you'll see what I'm doing. And you just wanna, don't pull it too hard because it is delicate, but you just wanna pull it over and tack it into the middle. I'm just gonna bring up the sides there and that one there. Okay, so that's all stuck nicely. And then I'm just gonna take the backing off of this one here. And then this one here, you want to pull a bit more taut. You'll have more overhanging, but just pull it around. Again, being careful, you don't want to rip it. Like so. Now, when I turn it over, you'll see, start to get that arch, and it already is nice and padded. I love it. Okay, and then I'm just going to trim these bits away, because I don't need that much there. Now, if you want to fold this like you were doing a mini album or something, you can, but it's so light and easy to work. You really don't need to. What I've done is I'm going to fold it in as if I'm wrapping a present. So I'm going to run two more strips of tape there because we're going to stick all of this onto the card base. So it's all going to be hidden. You don't see none of it. It's a really, really neat, tidy card once it's all done. Just take that one off there. So all I'm doing... Again, try and push some of that wadding underneath because you don't really want to pad the sides of it. You just want all the padding to stay on the top. And then I'm just going to fold that one in and that one in. Like I said, just like you're wrapping a present and kind of pull it all up at the same time, like so. You'll see there, you get a really nice edge. And then this one here, just do exactly the same. And again, pull it around, stick that all down. Any excess, just cut away. There we go. And now you'll have this piece. And that is all ready for you to decorate. Now you do want to be careful if you're going to use hot glue. I am going to use hot glue, but I actually put it on the back of this and then I'm going to let it just sit for a minute so it doesn't go on when it's like piping hot. So I'm just going to let that kind of just start to cool and then put it on. If you wanted to do some mats and layers, so say this was a mat, you know, and you cut it to say four by four, so it came in a bit smaller here. So you still got to appreciate this, but I just want the person that receives this card, I want them to see straight away that it's a real padded piece. So I didn't want to cover it too much, but you know, you can do a lot with this, but I would say if you're going to stick anything onto this, I would use some foam tape or double-sided tape like this one that I've used here. So, you know, as long as it, it grips to it, that's, that's all that matters. So now I'm happy to put this one on. So get it in the middle there. Just hold that in place. And then with this one, I think I'm gonna use the Merry Christmas in the gold because I've used the silver on those two. 
but let's go for, yeah, they're going to go for the gold. Now because there's a bit of a dip here, what I'm going to do is just start to kind of build up this piece here. So it's already got a foam, um, oh, although the backing doesn't want to come off that at all. Oh, it's not even sticky. Okay, let's, that's fine. I've just got some foam um, pads here and I'm just going to stick it on the back and again I'm going to add probably maybe four or five layers of foam this is just because I'm using this Ponsettia flower which actually I forgot to say where I've got this one which I'll show you in a moment now I can just pop a little bit of hot glue on the end but I've got all that dimension on the side of it and then I can stick that in the center so it still allows this to kind of have its shape but also stick that in the middle so the Ponsettia I know a lot of you have this is the ultimate Ponsettia die and it's so good it's a huge die so you, so you get four pieces one two three four and then you get your sprigs as well and you just layer it up I'm not going to show you how to make that one in this video but if you just link up here it'll take you to a tutorial where I show you how I put it together to get these lovely flowers so again just make sure that's all stuck down okay to just give the card some added strength i'm just adding some glue all around the back here so this is a top folding card again so make sure it's all up the right way and i'm going to stick it from the back and then you can make sure you get a nice frame okay and like I said, if you want to reinforce the back there, you can, but it does stand up. All of them stand up really nicely, you can see there. So there you have it. It's a really quick tutorial because it is so easy to do, but until you feel them and you actually see it, you know, I just love them. They've got such a nice feel and it just, you know, it just really gives the card that that's something extra. I love this and I will definitely be doing more. I'll be doing birthday cards in the new year and I will hopefully be sourcing some, some better fabrics that are still really cheap because I think that's the whole fun part as well is being able to make these great cards without having to spend too much money. So um, yeah, these are by Simply Creative. These are older. I got these on Every Cross a Pound, I think, a while back. They're really handy little toppers. And like I said, you've seen this. I'll share the links to that. The grey board, I'll also link that. But the tablecloth, I'll probably struggle with because it's not really something I can find like that. But I would have thought places like The Range, your pound shops, your dollar stores, your supermarkets, all that kind of thing, I'm sure will have these. But just, yeah, try and see if you can have a little look at what it's like in terms of the feel of it. It's, um, yeah, it's hard to describe, but it's it's got a, like a fleecy kind of feel to it, but it's extremely soft. So anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Tutorial's done. I hope you feel inspired. I hope you like the first project for this year's Christmas workshop and be prepared for lots of really fun tutorials to come. So thank you for watching. Please hit the like button if you've enjoyed today. Consider subscribing so you get to see more tutorials and all of this year's Christmas workshop. And I'll be back again very soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.